The K Jazz Show Sundays on Kofifi FM 97.2. Lewis Mshanga is a Southern African musician whose passion for the guitar started at the age of 10, imitating the likes of Jimi Hendrix and many other rock musicians from the 60s through to the 70s. He's also a scholar of both the Southern and West African guitar traditions, successfully incorporating the mbira patterns of the Shona people into his unique modern electric guitar style. Mshanga is also known for his collaborations as much as his work as a solo artist and was featured on the 1996 collaborative album Play of hope alongside international stars like George Duke, James Ingram, and Al Jarreau. Can be heard on Andy Narrow's Fire in the Engine Room, of course, not a stranger to the music scene, and his work has achieved high acclaim, including the formation of the Louis Mthanga Band with Andy Leyanana, Silo Muntwedi, and Abasi Mashasela. That was in 2001. Bralui has a new project, Living for the Living, which is coming out, and he chats to us this Sunday. <music> Louis, hello. Welcome to Coffee with FM. Hello, Marco. How are you, my brother? I'm very well. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We're really glad you could join us. You know, Ralu, you are one of the musicians who doesn't need really an introduction. You have had an incredible career, having worked alongside musicians such as Oliver Mtukuti, Busim Shongo, Chiwoniso, and Marcus Wyatt, but to name a few. A vast and colorful career. Let's take some time, you know, to reflect on those years and what were some of your highlights? You know, uh, my highlights, uh, they, in fact, I should say that all of them are my highlights because, you know, they come and go and there's always something new. So I can't say that this is the best or what everything is the best to me because it comes in a different way, in its own way. So it's always the best. Mm. And having worked with, you know, with, with these incredible musicians over time, what was it like? You know, I mean, you are, not many of us know this, but you've also played alongside Andy Nara on his Fire in the Engine project. What was that experience like? Well, that was a great experience, you know, because uh, when I uh, just met Andy Nara, I think that time he had just come to uh, South Africa here in Johannesburg for the first time. Then um, that time we still used to have the, the bass line in Melvin. Mm. So he came out there while he was performing with uh, Vusi Matlasela. He enjoyed the show. And then after the show, he came to me and he said, hey, you know what? Coincidentally, I've got another show at Mega Music. Mega Music, which is now the new bass line yeah. you know, after the shutdown, the other one. Mm. So he invited me and he said, please, I would like you to come to my show. I said, I will come and watch your show. He says, no, I want you to come and jam with me. Bring your guitar with you. So the I, I, following day, I went there and uh, I brought my guitar and he invited me on stage and we played together. I didn't even know his music, but I knew uh, Andy Narell from, you know, other recordings that I came across. Yes. But I just didn't know who he was, you know, until then. All the time, I always thought it was a black person playing those steel pans, only to find out it's a white guy really, you know, playing those, uh, <laughs> that instrument. Yeah. You know, so we played together. It was nice. It was a great meeting. From there, we went to Emperor's Palace to perform, we went to different places. While he was around, he kept on inviting me, no, you must come and we keep on playing together. And that was the relationship we started growing. So just playing with him, I learned something from him. And, you know, each time when you meet another great musician, you learn from them. They always have something to impart to you. You know, you learn from them. So mm. it was very, very good experience for me yeah you know you're originally 
um, Ralui from Zimbabwe and learning the guitar from the age of 10, you then infuse the guitar with the traditional mbira, you know, creating a modern and unique style of play to your sound. The question here yes. is, how do we define what your sound is? Are you jazz? Are you fusion? Are you smooth? Or are you simply just music? I think I'm simply just music <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I can't wear all those caps, you know, they are very, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just music because I just play uh, all kinds of styles, whatever, you know, I, I can just pick up and if it feels good to me and I'm comfortable with it, yeah, I just, you know, dive into it and express myself in the best way that I can and make the best out of it and enjoy also, you know, what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. So if you're joining us this Sunday for Our Africa is guitarist and composer Louis Mshanga, of course, who has got, who's got a brand new project out and he calls it Living for the Living, a wonderful melting pot, you know, of sonics from upbeat tracks to some ballads all fused together on this double disc offering. <music>
Probably we, let's talk more about this project. You know, um, what were the creative processes like? You know, this time around. I mean, you've created quite a few projects. You've got quite a few number of albums, you know, under your belt. But let's talk about this brand new one now and what was different about it. And let's maybe also explore some of the influences. What influenced you this time around? Well, the influences from uh, this new album, Living for the Living, it's uh, these are all my experiences. Uh, not all of them, but uh, most of them. Because it's got some bit of rock in it. Yeah. It's got some bit of classical. And uh, it's got some bit of uh, traditional African. And uh, it's got some bit of funk in it as well. So it's a mix of all those uh, experiences which I grew up playing and learning from different people. And just, you know, fusing them together on this album. Yeah. And also... I chose to make it like, um, to make it uh, an instrumental one, you know, because I know in most of my albums, I'm always singing here and there. But in this case, I just thought, you know, let me allow the guitar to sing, to tell stories on its yeah. own. Yeah. So that's basically what I'm doing in this album. And um, also, you know, uh, during the making of this album, it, it happened during the time of when COVID kicked in. And uh, that's the time I started doing some bit of work. And after COVID, yeah. I've been communicating. Actually, just even before COVID, I've been communicating with uh, Andy Narell and been telling him about, you know, I'm going to be doing this. And he said, please don't leave me out. And part of that album, I have to play some songs on it. So he also played... You know some steel pens maybe on, on three tracks yeah of the album then he also suggested that i use some uh cuban percussion players you know some friends of his yes then i asked him how are you gonna do that he says no just send me some files and i'll get them to play and we'll put a lot of stuff in it and you'll get to choose what you want when you hear it so that's wow. how it happens it happened yeah then I also got other uh, our local percussionists here, great percussionists like uh, Tlali Makene. He also played on it, and I did a drama, uh, Sam Mataure, Rob Watson, bass player Michael Phillips, and um, uh, other musicians that came in. I also got in some uh, violin players and a cello player to come and join in in other pieces which I put together on the album. Mm. So mm. that makes it, it gives it another different flavor. It's a different uh, kind of album. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think I, we call it a melting pot, you know, of sonics, you know, from upbeat tracks to ballads. And, 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 and I, I, I'm so excited, you know, for everyone to hear it and, 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 and listen to these different, you know, uh, instruments and, and instrumentalists coming in and, uh, and of course, uh, being part of this wonderful project, Living for the Living, it is called. Now, in the advent or maybe in a time where, you know, even releasing an album, yeah. <laughs> For many artists, it's no longer that desirable, you know, Bralui. And and here you are. You're coming out with a double <laughs> disc album, <laughs> you know. Yes. Let's talk about what inspired that, you know. Why double disc? Well, I couldn't hold back. The moment I put the songs together, it was like a string of songs, or if you like, a chain of songs that were connected together. So if I let one song out, uh, you know, the whole story was not going to be complete. So I even tried to say, okay, maybe let me just release maybe three songs or four songs or maybe six songs mm. like that. But still, if I let go, then it was, what would I call the album? That was my main problem. So I kind of struggled with that idea. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and Andy Narell, I also discussed with him. He says, man, just release it as it is. Wow. You know, just let it go. Let the people, you know, enjoy it. They'll have an opportunity to choose what they want out of everything that you're giving out. Mm. So that's how it ended up to be.
know, if you've just joined us, this is Our Africa this Sunday. And of course, we are joined by the amazing Louis Mslanga as we debut his new project, Living for the Living. And we've been listening to some of the music of this project. And of course, in case you've missed it, the conversation will be available at the end of this hour on our podcast platforms. Now, Bra Louis, you had a show yesterday at Nikki's, you know. I um to, to to many of us missed it because I mean the conversation is only taking place you and I today. Um yeah. where else can we catch you? You know, where are you going to be performing? Are you going on tour with this album? Tell us about that. Yes, I'm actually going uh on tour with this album. Um I I also have some shows that I'll, I'll be, you know, having in Stellenbosch and in Cape Town. Uh that will be starting on the 24th. I think I have about three shows that will be happening out there. Yes. And also I'll be collaborating with other musicians, Skulk on the bass and um Jono Sweetman, you know, on the drums, you know, with other musicians also who are going to come on board. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be exciting. Look, we look forward to it. Of course, we'd want to also know which specific venues you'll be visiting. So I think it's safe to say that uh, we'll put it on our social media pages as to where we can find you specifically, the dates, the times, and 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 everything in between. But of course, uh, thank you so much for joining us, Bralu, you know, this Sunday. And uh, thank you for making your debut here on Coffee Fear FM. It's our very first conversation, and I really I am appreciative of you joining us on this Sunday. Now, before you go, you know, many jazz artists are, are always are asked this question on the show you know i think maybe the collectors want to know those are those of us that are listening you know to the podcast those of us that are listening at home those of us that are listening now live etc are we getting physical copies of this album yes yes yeah the physical copies are available so and people can get them uh well from my shows also i'm i, I always carry the cds yeah for people to buy and also i have a website where you can uh, find out i mean where you can log in and arrange that you you know to buy some cds and the website is www.luimflanger.com and on that website there's also my social links they're all in there yes. so people can get to, to reach me there absolutely Definitely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning and of course we look forward to catching you at the next show, specifically here in Johannesburg and we also by the way want to say thank you so much for the incredible music over the years. You really really are quite legendary and we celebrate you this Sunday. Thank you Mwanko. Thank you so much and to your listeners. Thank you. He is guitarist, composer and band leader Louis Mlanga and he was on the K-Jazz show for this week's Our Africa.